ever wondered where millionaires are investing their money? Now, although every investor is different, there are some strong trends that ISA millionaires tend to follow, including particular funds and stocks that they have inside their ISA. Stick around for the entire video, because what I'm going to tell you is actually quite surprising. ISA millionaires have just 5.2% of their entire money sitting in cash. Now, the typical non-ISA millionaire has at least double that percentage. What does this mean? It's likely to take far longer for you to reach that a million pound status if you decide to leave a big portion of your money in cash compared to invest in it. This is because although interest rates on cash is rising, the return that you get on shares will normally always outdo that interest rate on the cash. Getting a typical six to eight percent annual average return on your investment portfolio will help you compound that money into a bigger pot than if you just left it in cash. Millionaires are not withdrawing their money from their investment portfolio and they are making sure to consistently reinvest any gains and any dividends that they get. They're using their money to buy more shares to make more money. That's one of the reasons they're getting to this millionaire status. Investment trusts are making up 42% of their portfolios. Investment trusts are companies which you pay to take your money and they decide what to invest in. So they have a choice in which companies your money goes into. Now, this type of investment does differ from our ordinary funds because their managers have way more flexibility in how they actually invest. There are other differences between investment trusts and ordinary funds, but I won't get into that in this video. A study has shown that out of the 472 funds and trusts that have a performance stretching all the way back to 1999, which by the way, was when the Stocks and Shares ISA was first introduced. Just 50 of these would have made you a millionaire if you had invested the complete allowance that you could have every single year. And it's investment trusts that are counting for 35 out of these 50. So we've learned that investment trusts are very popular amongst ISA millionaires, but which investment trusts? AJ Bell did a little bit of digging here and they found that the most popular trusts that would have made someone into an ISA millionaire are as follows. HG Capital Trust, Free Eye, Pacific, Horizon, Scottish Mortgage, Alliance Technology Trust, and so on. Hargreaves, Lansdowne, and Interactive Investors also found the same thing, in that investment trusts are very popular in the portfolios of ISA millionaires. Interactive Investors found that the two most popular investment trusts amongst their ISA millionaires were Alliance Trust, and the Scottish Mortgage Trust. ISA millionaires are choosing to allocate different percentages of their money into different assets within their portfolio. We've already mentioned how millionaires have a smaller amount in cash, but have a much higher exposure to investment trusts. You can see that they actually have a lower exposure to funds than all the other ISAs in comparison. But you'll see that the equity exposure is quite similar between millionaires and non-millionaires. What stocks are they actually investing into? Down here are the most favoured individual stocks within ISA millionaire portfolios, with Shell being the clear favourite. So what do all of these stocks have in common? They're high dividend paying companies. Through my research, I've noticed that most ISA millionaires tend to hold income paying stocks and funds within their portfolio. And I think that's because as you get older, you have a natural tendency to swap your investments to the income paying type. And most ISA millionaires are in their 70s. These are all respected FTSE 100 big companies. So they're not really including the small cap. They're not really including the startup companies. They are aiming for those big cap FTSE 100, typically dividend paying stocks. I just thought this would be interesting to include now. It's showing you the difference between an ISA millionaire portfolio and a non-millionaire ISA portfolio. You can see that in the ISA millionaire, we have investment trusts. We have the number one spot and the number three spot. Now, although we do have the Scottish Mortgage Trust in the non-millionaire ISA, 
We don't have any others and it's definitely not the number one choice. You can see that Shell is the preferred individual stock within the portfolio and you've got Glasgow Smith Klein GSK here and you've got some other big names. Some of them are also featured in the non-millionaire ISA portfolio but you can see some clear differences here. Millionaires are choosing to invest lump sums of money at the start of the tax year. They are piling money into their ISA within the first month of the new ISA allowance starting. So I think there's a simple message here, max out as much of your 20K allowance as you possibly can. The more money you can invest, the greater your money can grow. For anyone starting out now and investing the entire 20K ISA allowance each year, if you assume that you're gonna get a 5% annual return, excluding any fees, then you could maybe hit the a million pound mark in 25 years from now. If your investments grew at a 7% average annual return rate instead of 5%, then you could achieve this in 22 years from now. If your investments saw an annualized return of just 3%, which is probably quite unlikely if you averaged it out over a long period of time, but if that did happen, it would take you 31 years to become a millionaire. And finally, and very interestingly, ISA millionaires tend to have a home bias. They seem to have a very UK heavy portfolio. Perhaps these people missed out on some really big gains from big US companies. Let me know what you think.